Hello friends, this video on triangles part 38 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 37. And that comes out to be 1 by. Now we'll discuss Pythagoras. Pythagoras theorem says that in a right triangle, the ratio the square of hypotenuse is equal to sum of the square of the other two sides. In right triangle, we know that the longest side is called hypotenuse. This is hypotenuse. So hypotenuse square, that is AC square, will be equal to sum of square of other two sides, that is AB square plus BC square. We have to prove this. We have to prove this theorem, and this theorem is called Pythagoras theorem. To prove this, what we can do? We can find AB square, BC square, and AC square. So if you see AB square, see AB square, if you see, if you can take two triangles, this ABD and ABC, you will get AB square. So let's divide. Let's suppose ABD is triangle 1 and BDC is triangle 2. And the whole thing is, let's suppose, triangle ABC. Now if you see, this angle is equal to A. Assume let's suppose this becomes 90 minus A. Correct. This is also 90. This becomes A. Right? 90 minus A plus 90 is A. Since this becomes A, this also becomes 90 minus A. BD is perpendicular to AC. AC is the hypotenuse. Now, if you see, we have to find AB square first and then BC square. To find AB square, if we compare this triangle A. B, D and the bigger triangle A, B, C will get A, B two side, A, B by A, B, right? One from this triangle A, B, D and one from A, B, C. So we'll get A, B square component. So let's try to uh, find A, B, D triangle. Let's suppose this A, D, B, correct? A, D, B is one triangle where D is the perpendicular. And here if you see in triangle A, B, C, B is perpendicular. So I'll take like this. Here I took A, A was 90 degree. And here I'll take A, B, C, right? Same A only, I think. Because A is A and this also A. This is equal. So if you see, we'll be comparing these two triangles. What we can see? This is C, actually. You see this angle A, or I can write B, A, D, instead of angle B, A is equal to angle CAB and that is equal to A degree. Also angle D is equal to angle B is equal to 90 degree. Therefore, we can say that triangle ABD is similar to triangle ACB. We can say that triangle ABD is similar to triangle ACB. Since they are similar, we can get this ratio. So you want AB, AB ratio, right? So we'll take this side ratio and this side ratio. So what you can get is AB by AD, right? This is equal to AC by AB. Or we get AB square is equal to AC into AD. That is my first equation. I got AB square. This part is done. Similarly, I have to find BC square. So let's do this here. Draw straight line here. To find BC square, if you see this is BC is one triangle, part of BC line is part of triangle 2, and BC is also part of triangle ABC. So we'll take ABC and triangle BDC. Correct? So let, let's draw this two right triangle. BDC. This is B, this is D, this is C. D is 90 here, and here ABC B is, B is 90. Right? C is common. So we'll take C here. Here also if you see, angle C is equal to angle C, angle BCD is equal to angle ACB, that is angle C is equal to angle C, and that is 90 minus A. By construction also they are same. Angle B is equal to angle D, that is 90 degree. So we can say that triangle BDC is similar to triangle ABC. Here we have to find BC. So this side has BC, this side is BC. So we'll take ratio of this side and ratio of this side. So what we'll get is BC 
by DC is equal to AC by BC or we'll get BC square is equal to AC into DC. So we got BC square also. We have to add this as per the question. So let's add AB square plus BC square to add. This becomes AC into AD plus AC into DC. AC is common, so we'll take AC common. AC into AD plus DC. AD plus DC. If you see AD, we add DC in this. This becomes AC. This is nothing but AC into AC. Correct? Instead of AD plus DC, I wrote AC. This is nothing but AC square. So what we have proved? We have proved that AB square plus BC square is equal to AC square. And that is the Pythagoras. So very, very, very crucial theorem. Please understand. Space, uh, area, square of sides of a right triangle, so square of sides of a right triangle is equal to square of hypotenuse. We have two smaller sides, AB and BC. You square it, then sum it. This becomes square of. We'll take one more example. We have to prove that area of an equilateral triangle. Described on one side of a square is equal to half the area of equilateral triangle described on diagonal. Let's draw this first. This is my square ABCD. This is my diagonal. On this side, let's create a equilateral triangle. This is my equilateral triangle AB on on side. And now let's create a equilateral triangle on the diagonal. This is my equilateral triangle on the diagonal. So we have to prove that. Area of ABE by area of AFC is equal to half. This is half of the area. Right? So this is equal to 1 by. That is what we have to prove. Now, we know that triangle ABE is similar to triangle AFC. Why? Because both, both are equal to triangle. All the angles are 60. 60, 60, 60, right? Both are equilateral triangles. So two equilateral triangles are always three. Since ABE and AFC are two equilateral triangles, they are similar. Because the rule is two equilateral triangles are always, always similar because the angle is always 60 degree. Now, ratio of area of ABE by area of AFC will be equal to ratio of side square. That is AB by AC square, correct? So if you assume AB is equal to X, BC is equal to X, since it is square, AC will be root of AB square plus BC square. This is nothing but AC. And this is nothing but root of X square plus X square. That is root of 2X square. That is root 2X. Correct? So AB is equal to, this is root 2x, AB is equal to x, AC is equal to the one, root 2x. And to find the square of this, so this becomes 1 by root 2 square and this becomes 1 by 2. So the ratio of area of ABE by AFC is 1 by 2. Very similar, we have drawn the square on AB and AC. We found the value of AC in terms of AB, we found that AC is equal to root 2x, AB is equal to x. Find the ratio of area of the triangle. Area of the ratio of area of the triangle is ratio of the side square and hypotenuse of the right. We'll take one example. Equilateral triangle are drawn on the sides of a right triangle. You have to show that the area of the triangle on the hypotenuse is equal to sum of areas of the other two sides. This is the right triangle. On this side, we have a triangle drawn. On this side, we have a triangle drawn. And hypotenuse, we have one. Equilateral triangle drawn. All are equilateral triangle are drawn. Correct? We have to prove that. Let's suppose this is one triangle, this is two, and this is three. We have to prove that area of one plus area of two is equal to area of three. That is to prove area of triangle one plus area of triangle two is equal to area of triangle three. How to prove? See, Pythagoras theorem says that 
AB square plus BC square is equal to AC square. Correct? You divide everything by AC square. Why? I'll tell you why. So if you divide AB by AC whole square is nothing but AB is this, AC is this. All triangles are similar. Triangle 1, triangle 2, triangle 3 all are similar. This is nothing but ratio of area of ABC that is area of angle 2 plus by AC that is area of angle 3 plus BC square by AC square. BC is part of this triangle. So this becomes area of triangle 1 by area of triangle 3. Then BC by AC and this is equal to 1. So what we get is area of 2 plus area of 1 is equal to area of 3. And thus we have proved that area of equilateral triangle 1 plus area of equilateral triangle 2 is equal to area of equilateral triangle 3. Correct? What we have done? Very simple. We have used the Pythagoras theorem to get AB square plus BC square is equal to AC square divided by AC square all. We got AB by AC square that is nothing but area of angle 2 by area of angle 3. BC by AC square area of angle 1 by area of angle 3. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.